so Baker Mayfield, he stuck up for himself. He said, you know what? I don't want to play with these stinking Browns. They don't want me. I don't want them. I'll go somewhere else. Then it was talked about, hey, the Colts, they need a quarterback. You know what the Colts said? Nah. <laughs> nah. We got someone with ice in his veins and Matty ice. ice, baby. And then it was like maybe the 49ers. And the 49ers now like, no, we got Trey Lance. We might be sticking with Jimmy G. You're not coming here. And then it was, hey, maybe Seattle Seahawks. They might be sticking with Drew Locke. Over they, don't with they don't Mayfield. want him. They don't want That's it. That's a shame. Here's oh. the thing now. Where? Is Baker going to get signed by a team? There, okay, so first off, this is a complete flip. And I, I like the Browns might have messed up here. They were wanting a first-round pick for Baker Mayfield. Uh-huh. Now teams are saying they're going to have to get rid of Baker Mayfield and a pick <laughs> to get rid of him. <laughs> Similar to the Brock Osweiler situation because of how yeah. much he's getting paid. $18.5 million, I think, this year. Yeah. And no team wants to take that on for which might be a backup quarterback for them. I don't what? see it. Oh, and the th- other thing I wanted to talk about is Carolina was a, a spot that I was looking at. They publicly came out, out and said, we don't want them. They <laughs> out. Yep. <laughs> so That's right. I, I get That's it. That's right. <laughs> so where is this guy going to go? I don't know. There's actually a rumor that came out that the Pittsburgh Steelers could be interested in signing Baker Mayfield. I don't know if the Steelers are again, interested or not. I don't know if that came from them or from other people. And then again, Mike Tomlin met with Malik Willis for dinner last night. So it's like, <laughs> that'd be cool. I don't think wow. I, I mean oh man dude it's Pittsburgh I don't think I, I like I feel bad for Baker in a way because the Browns go behind his back yep and he publicly states that okay that's enough for me which fair game like I yeah I get it I give him the full right to do that I yep. mean I'd probably do that too and then they go even then they go one step ahead and say well okay I guess he's not coming back let's actually shine sign Deshaun Watson yep and now Baker is left with nothing should well he, should literally he be a starter. Nothing? Well, okay, so is his best case scenario Deshaun Watson gets suspended, he plays the first eight games, balls out, and then another but team wants him? That's he won't so play. He him. won't play. Right, yeah, that's, that's so true. Embarrassing why, why would he? Well, d- well, what if he doesn't have another option? What if his only option is to go out there and actually prove himself? Well, they, he gets paid regardless, right? Well, yeah, but I mean, you want to get that. You want to get that big contract, mm-hmm. though, after, oh, your, after dang, your rookie dude. contract. I mean, because what if he goes out there and he doesn't ball out? Then, well, it, then stuff goes downhill. Well then, where you, where you got your rate? Where you started a ba- like possible backup? Like right now, it's it's screaming possible backup for Baker Mayfield. See, the yeah. thing with Baker is like, honestly, his football career might be over because like <laughs> if he doesn't get signed, <laughs> he just le- I could see him going into like you know broadcasting. He's always on these State Farm commercials. I feel like he'll do fine outside so, the NFL, but like here's here's the thing. So right now he's on the trade block. He's not a free agent. He can't just be picked up. So I think because the Browns were asking so much for him, that's why nobody signed yeah, him right off the bat. going to pick him up if he goes into free agency. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, if, if he does mm-hmm. somehow get dropped in a free agency, I feel like a team will pick him up. Like, so would, I you, don't, would, would you take him over to a... I'd take him over Trubisky. Would you take him over... Uh, who I would probably... Daniel Jones. I, Sam Darnold. Daniel Carson Jones, Wentz. yeah. yeah. Wentz, yeah. Uh, Mariota. Mariota, yeah. Well, Sam Darnold, Carolina Sam Darnold. passed on him there. there yeah, there's yeah, a weird part. See, but do you think it's a They're personality drafting. thing that people don't want them? Uh, yeah. I, and in the back of my head, I feel like a lot of these teams, the bad teams, they don't want to pick up Baker Mayfield, and they want to get that good draft pick mm-hmm. next year to get a really good rookie quarterback. I just think a lot of teams don't see him as Super Bowl caliber winning quarterback, which I think it's fair. So yeah, I mean, people see that in Carson Wentz, though. People see that in some of these Marcus Mariota, like you know. What I, I guess mean? because James Winston. I guess because like, Carson Wentz got them. To a Super Bowl I mean, before, he, technically. Oh, well, he was kinda. on a team. <laughs> I mean, he, he led the Eagles show an incredible season. Then yeah. he got her, and then and Nick Foles took beat over. the Jaguars to get into the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, with yeah. a great team. I mean, yeah, that's right. That that yeah, Eagles right. season, dude, that's in the past. I'm not thinking about that anymore. Come on. Well, yeah, now. I'm just thinking I mean, that's, that's irrelevant why, now. Yeah, You're yeah. definitely right. I'm There's thinking no that's question. why the Colts yeah. took a chance on oh, him. Yeah, okay. right, yeah. So that was an but, MVP type season from, from Carson yeah. Wentz that year. But, yeah, Baker Mayfield is definitely better than a lot of the starters on a lot of these teams. I mean, there's probably seven or eight teams that I would rather have Baker, at least. Yeah. Maybe up to ten teams, yeah. or I'd probably rather have Baker. It, even though he's probably average. Right? Is he just average? It's so, it's well, so weird how the Browns are just like, we're not giving you him, you know? Well, they wanted a first round. That's right, what they right. wanted. And the Browns so, Baker, too. Yeah, they, yeah. they tried so, killing him last year. They're so stubborn with them. It's mm-hmm. like, 
Mm-hmm. He I, needed to be a part he of was that hurt. deal. That he he deal. was hurt. They had nothing to play for, and they said, "We're starting you, and you're going to die out there." That's what they did to him. <laughs> yeah, they they messed him up, man. <laughs> yep. How dare they do that to a quarterback? Honestly, <laughs> I mean, you can tell at that, that that moment we even said it. They have no plans for Baker in the no, future if they're no, throwing no. him out there yeah. while his shoulders messed up like it was. And due they for can't make up. They've been eliminated from the playoffs. Yeah, like, what? yeah. I uh, that that was kind of questionable in my opinion. Ah, um, Baker Mayfield might be screwed, but then again, there's like always teams that always need quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. He will get his opportunity opportunity Mm -hmm. and for his sake hopefully it's on a halfway decent team well and again like obviously this is a thing where we don't want to win at all but marcus Mariota is now going to be a starting quarterback again what four years after he was the last starting quarterback for tennessee so like i mean everybody has their opportunity everybody's going to get their chance again i feel on a probably a crappy team Mm -hmm. but we'll see if it's going to take that long i don't think it's going to take that long i feel like if he is dropped into free agency he'll be picked up pretty quickly is he going to be a starter next season then you think (sighs) Depends yeah. right now. Depends on the team, yeah. I, honestly, yeah, I think so. I, how about a, the Saints? I just thought about the Saints. They, I know they re-signed Jameis Winston, but is they know Jameis Winston's not the answer. No, they might be a team that. Well, can why take they resign him then? Well, do they? Think I mean, Baker is the answer though? because who do they? They don't really have anybody else yeah, there. But now. They, they did sign Taysom Hill to a contract. So another. Yeah, well, we. Yeah. I, I think everybody realized that was a mistake, especially with how much <laughs> money that they paid him. Yeah. So the Saints literally came out and said like the Taysom Hill at quarterback experiment is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, they just didn't know. have a quarterback, and yeah. I think the real reason why they resigned is because they seen how things fell off once he got yeah. hurt. Of course, Jameis Winston is is inconsistent as you can get as a quarterback. It's either like crazy good game or terrible game whenever you're costing the team. Uh, the actual game by throwing three or four interceptions. That's Jameis Winston for you. This is a tough one for me because do you look at Baker Mayfield being better or Jameis Winston being better? Because they're very close in my opinion. I see Baker. They're close. I think I would take Baker because he's more young and there's a little bit more of a chance for Mm -hmm. upside with him. That's crazy because last last season franchise I had Jameis as my starter this season I had Baker and they both suck wow that's beautiful but yeah Baker. Matt Jones is next right I'm so just, oh man <laughs> he hasn't done anything in years and Baker did take him to the playoffs and won a playoff game with him mm-hmm. like I think do him that dirt like he does deserve a chance right. out there mm-hmm. right I think it dude I think it comes back to the Odell Beckham blow up yeah that he, that Odell Beckham was trash because Baker Mayfield was throwing the ball. And I didn't even think that was true until yeah. he went to the Rams and actually started yeah. doing really good. And here's the thing, too, now. I think a lot of teams are worried that that is going to happen even if it's not actually happening. Because let's say a receiver's doing crappy. He could just easily blame Baker Mayfield if they're on the same team. And it's like, oh, well, it's the Odell thing. Maybe mm-hmm. he is just a really bad you know quarterback. Maybe he can't get it to his receivers. So mm-hmm. I feel like there's just a lot of... There, there's a lot of chances for the the ship to just turn if you have baker mayfield on your ship <laughs> truthfully yeah, yeah so we'll see it's just it sucks because he was sticking up for himself we thought okay he's gonna get an opportunity to a different team and then now it's like man there's not a place for him anymore mm-hmm. i wonder how this affects his like brand deals like those commercials he's on how he's always in the stadium well, he, Brown he, stadium so what is that just gone after that they gotta move him to that stadium that he goes to that'd be funny if he it's like tied into the next commercial where he just can't get in he's evicted <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> There's an eviction notice on the gate. <laughs> that would be funny. Don't come back. Stay farm, hire us. All right. Well, let us know in that comment section down below where you think Baker Mayfield is going to go. And if you think he is a number one quarterback in this league. Oh, man. It's crazy to think about. I can't yeah. believe it. And if you're in a, if you're a team that needs a quarterback, would you want Baker Mayfield? <laughs> or no? I feel like there's going to be a lot of no's. But I, 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 don't, know. Too. I don't know. Yeah. We'll hey. see. That's for enough. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.